Hello YouTube and all of you it. my name is Nidozy, and today I bring you 10 commands that are very useful. These commands can either just be used to be funny around your friends, or you can- they're, they're actually super useful for maps and things. So, without any further delay, let's get straight into it. As you can see here, we have our first command, this is called the test4 command. So, for those of you- What did you just say to me? That's what I thought. You'll be dead soon. Um, okay, so anyway, for those of you who are who are experienced in Minecraft commands before 1.13, you'll know about this command called the test4 command. It essentially makes maps look a lot nicer uh, because you don't have to have pressure plates everywhere. So, for example, if I grab a pressure plate from right here, it, it doesn't look particularly well on most blocks like iron, which is... A lot of the times what you'll be using and for example like even if you, you were in like a map where like you had to be in a forest or something like that and something had to get triggered you wouldn't want your player to have to step on a pressure plate in order to trigger that certain thing so that's when the test for command block comes into play so as you can see we have a co repeating command block right here it says test failed um and it says execute if entity at p distance equals dot dot two so if we hit done if we step into these red blocks, then essentially what it's going to do is it's going to turn this comparator on. So if I step into this, as you can see, it turns on. I step out, it's off. And this couldn't even be with any block. Like, um, I, I want to make sure that you guys don't think that this is just with um, this certain kind of block. This can be with sandstone. So you can just walk onto this and the thing will turn on. So, let's think of more practical use for this. We have our map, and we just want the player to have to stand on a gold block in order for it to start. So, this is what happens. You go up to the gold block, it starts, and then you can execute pretty much whatever you want. This could be a teleport, it could be some sort of tell raw message, sort of like what I just typed in there, or a say, just like I typed in there. And it's super simple. It's literally just that exact command, except it's 1.6, so you can do decimals with this. The problem with 2 is that... If you look here, I'm stepping on the block side to it. As you can see, it still lights up, but I just want it to be on the block above. So I found that the best setting for this command block, if you just want it to be the block above, is 1.6. Moving on. So next up, what we have is we have a little thing that you can add on to your commands called type. So if I look over at this, uh, we have the command tp at e type equals cow tilde tilde tilde. So I imagine that you guys can probably figure out what's going to happen here. It's going to teleport the cow over to here. So let's turn it on. That. Oh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I forgot we have another example of cow. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Okay. Okay. Um, if you'll excuse me for just one moment, I gotta clean this up. Actually, instead of uh, showing how to clean things up off camera, I'll show you how to clean them up now. This is just a little bit of a bonus thing with the type thing. We're going to do slash kill at E type equals cow. Watch. They're all dead. I just than Thanos snapped every single one of these cows away. So much meat. Uh, anyway, as you can imagine, we can probably do the exact same thing with a pig. So if I just go into this command and change cow to pig, and then I hit done, and then I flick the lever, the pig's here. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. Hey! Well, oh, okay, you're good, you're good. Alright, buddy, uh, I'll, I'll, let you, uh, I'll let you roam free. Luke, remember to uh, edit that out. Alright, next up, we have trails and particles. So, um, if you ever go on a server and you see people who have a ranks, they have particle trails around them, or they have, uh, things that just happen when they're walking around. So, for example, we have the particle command. Let's turn this on. And as you can see, wherever I walk, these green particles follow me. And it actually does look pretty cool in F5 mode. It almost looks like I'm flying with the particles and like now I'm just inside this cloud. It does look pretty cool. So uh, let's show off this command real quick. This is going to use uh, a type of command that we're going to be using a lot in this video called the execute command. So let's take a look at this. Um, I'll go home. And as you can see here, we have execute anchored feet at player. So this is essentially saying execute the command. Uh, we want it to be at the player's feet. And we want it to be at my feet, because my username is Z. And then we're going to run this command, particle, because the command is called particle. 
And that is going to type in this. I have happy villager because that's the thing that comes up whenever you trade with a villager. And I can really change this to whatever I want. Like, say I actually did want it to be like I was in a cloud. I can type in, I think, yeah, cloud, just like that. I can type in cloud just like that, then hit done. And now look at that. I'm, it literally looks like I'm inside a cloud. Actually, it looks pretty cool too. And this one goes even quicker, so that is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I can literally do any particle. You can just uh, scroll through these a little bit. And then um, right here, I have where I want it to be. So just do tilde, tilde, tilde. That's going to make it at the command block, but that's just what you want. Um, this is how many blo blocks wide it is. If you do one block by one block by one block, it's going to be way bigger than you actually think it'll be. Um, I found that the best setting for what I'm doing is 0 0.3 by 0 0.3 by 0 0.3. And then I just put in a random time because I was trying to make it quick, but I'm not really sure how to actually change the time. This is the amount of particles that you want. I have 100 because that makes it look really cool. Force, uh, type in force, and then just do it at the player that you want. And my name is Neato Z, so I'm going to put it at Neato Z. Then I'm going to hit done. And as you can see, it works perfectly. And I'm just going to flick this lever to turn it off. All right. Next, we have a block particle. So this is sort of like the other one, except we're not using the particle command, we're using the set block command. So as you can see, we have execute anchored at feet of Neato Z, um, and then it's run set block, tilde, 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 green carpet. So like, actually, I want this to be lime carpet, so I'm going to do lime. And now I have lime carpet in there. So if I go up to this command block, I flick the lever. As you can see, a lime carpet goes beneath me. And wherever I walk, the lime carpet follows. So um, do be careful with this uh, because it's it can be really annoying. Make sure that you're not flying around uh, people's bases with this because it, it's, it, it's going to be really annoying. But if you do want to annoy your friends, then this is a good way to, to do it. Um, another thing that you can do that is honestly just diabolical is you can change this to lava wherever they walk lava will follow and essentially you will cause mass destruction so uh yeah and oh yeah it broke the lever um okay i should probably clean this up now before it burns uh, uh open my whole set because yeah that's bad that's bad remember guys don't do this to your friends unless you have their permission and you know that they can take a joke okay just if if you if your friend gets mad at you and like you break your friendship or something like that then that's not my fault. okay next up we have become a drill um and uh yeah this one is fairly simple i can turn into a drill so we have this command block right here this is a pretty long command block so let's go to the beginning it says execute anchored at feet of me um run fill and then you have the tilde so i have tilde negative five negative five negative five so this is saying uh negative five blocks this way negative five blocks this way and then negative five blocks down and then i have five blocks forward five blocks the other way and then i have it set so that it's at the other thing and it says air so essentially you want to stand one block below the command block because if you're above the command block and you press the lever then it's just going to destroy the command block so we're just going to go right here and I'm going to flick the lever and um, I had already tested this before. That's why there's already a giant hole here. But as you can see, I can literally just drill a hole wherever I want, wherever I walk. It's it's just it's just gone. As you can see, I can literally go all the way down to bedrock with this. So it is a pretty destructive tool, but it's super fun to use. So this is where the cow problem came in earlier. Um, so I'm just going to get some cow eggs real quick. And uh, this command is called the smite command, or the smite command as most of you probably know it uh, from watching people who play servers. If I go into my command thing and I type in execute um, at, at E, so this is going to go back to some of the type stuff, type equals cow, oh wait, sorry, uh, and then we do run summon lightning bolt and we hit enter as you can see we just did, committed mass destruction on all the cows they are all dead um and now it's burning down my set which yep um so i didn't really get a good view of that because i misplaced my mouse um so if i just spawn in some more cows here everywhere and then i type in that command again all dead very quickly so once again 
be careful when you're using this because it can very easily burn things down. And again, if you want to mess around with your friends, you can even just do this to them. You can type in slash uh, execute at uh, your friend's name and then run summon lightning bolt. Next, we have Telraw. Uh, some of you guys may have seen this on my channel before. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so you can mess around with your friends like this. So say we have this command block. It's a tell roll command block. And uh, it's telling us that we should use DuckDuckGo instead of Google. Because you should because Google sucks. Uh, you should use DuckDuckGo instead of Google. Uh, I'll have a link to DuckDuckGo if you want to check it out in the description. Um, so we have tell roll at A text. And then you have your text right there. And then it says color. And then the color that you want to use is gold. I'll have, this command, I'll have all these commands down in the description below uh, if you just want to copy them from there. So I'm going to turn this off. And then right here, um, we can even make other people say stuff. So this is really fun to mess around with your friends with. So if I do this, it says, Neato Z, I'm a gamer. I didn't actually type that in because obviously it would have taken a much longer time for me to type that in. But I can just do it just like that. So you could type in your friend's name instead of my name, and uh, you could just mess around with your friends and make them think that someone else is saying something that they're not. Now, this is the most fun one. If I flick this lever, it's going to say, somebody joined the game. But nobody actually joined the game. So as you can see there, it says, Hero Brian joined the game. It's literally as simple as saying, Hero Brian joined the game, and then making the color yellow. Um, just make sure that it looks correct so that your friends don't think that you're up to something fishy. Finally, we have the clone command. So, uh, for those of you who don't know what the clone command is, it's basically like copy and pasting something in World Edit. So, I'm just going to grab a random block here, and I'm going to go up to this corner, and I'm going to type in this command, slash clone, and I'm going to hit tab, tab, tab. Then I'm going to hold down control A at the same time, and then control C at the same time. That's essentially going to copy the, those coordinates. And then I'm going to go down to here, and I'm going to type in... Uh, T, and then I'm going to do Control V to paste it, and then I'm going to hit Tab, Tab, Tab. Then I'm going to hit Control A, Control C once again. I'm going to break both of those blocks because they're going to give me OCD. And finally, if I did this correct, we should be able to go, let's see, one, two, three, four, five blocks in the air. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and then theoretically, if I did this correctly, and I hit tab, tab, tab once again, if I paste it. See, that's what happens when you do it wrong. <laughs> um, now we just have a floating house. So, obviously, I accidentally put it uh, a few blocks higher by mistake. But you get the point. You can essentially clone whatever you want. Another command that's actually going to be pretty useful for you if you're in creative mode or making maps is the set block command. So, say I have a bunch of things that are stacked over top of each other, and um, I say, oops. I did uh, a whoopsie, and I want cobblestone under here instead of wood. Well, you're not just going to want to break the bottom block and replace it, because if you do that, then everything on top falls, and then you're going to have to replace all those blocks. Well, there's an easier answer. I can hover over that block, make sure that your cursor is over that block, that little plus sign, and I want to type in slash set block, tab, tab, tab. That's going to do the block that you're facing, and then it's going to give you a prompt for what uh, block. So like, let's say I want that to be cobblestone. I'm just gonna do Minecraft cobblestone and then hit enter. And as you can see, that block turns straight to cobblestone and I still have everything that was on top. Pretty easy. Another useful thing with this is if you're making maps and you want a block that's really high in the air, or if you're just making something high in the air and you want uh, something to be high in the air so that you don't have to pillar up, you can literally just do slash set block tilde 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 and then do literally whatever block you want. I like to do stone just because it's stone. And as you can see, I have stone right there and I can just build off from that and I don't have to pillar all the way up and then break all those blocks that I just placed down. One of the final commands that we have here is the fill command. Let's take a look at it. So essentially what the fill command is going to do is it's going to take two positions and then it's going to fill in whatever's between them. So sort of like world edit when you take the ax and you click in two spots. So um, I'm going to show the basic filling right here. I'm going to do slash fill, tab, 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 and then I'm going to hit control A, control C to copy it just like we did before. Then I'm going to go down to here to this uh, other corner and I'm going to do control V 
tab, tab, tab. And then you're going to be able to fill that in with whatever block you want. So like, say you're building a quick house for a video. I can just type in oak planks like that and then hit enter. And then as you can see, we have a giant block of uh, wood, which is pretty easy for the fill command. Um, so now let's look at a different type of filling. We're going to make it so that we just make walls. So let's take a look at this. I can do slash fill tab, 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 just like I did before. Control A, Control C. I'm going to head over here, down to here, control V, tab, 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 and then I'm going to do um, Minecraft, just like we did before, uh, colon, and then I'm going to do oak, I'm going to go down to oak planks right there, and then I can just hit enter, or no, we're not going to hit enter yet, we're going to go down to hollow, like that, I'm going to hit tab, and then that's all, just hit enter, and as you can see here, it looks like it's just a normal uh, block of wood, just like the other one. But on the inside, as you can see, it is hollow. We can also do outline, which will just make the walls, and you'll, you'll have to replace the floor and ceiling yourself. Uh, but I'm not going to get into that. So let's say I change a few blocks in this to a different type of block. Let's say I have this birch wood right here. One more thing that you can do with uh all this is you can say slash or uh no we're not we're gonna ju we're just gonna go to a previous command that i typed in we're gonna go to this one which is the previous stuff um and we're going to do instead of oak planks we're going to do birch planks simple as that and then i'm going to do replace diamond block and instead of having to change uh, each of those birch blocks, we can simply hit enter. Okay, hold on. I think I have to switch this around real quick. Diamond block. As you can see, every single birch plank that was placed down in that area has just been changed to a diamond. Easy commands, super good outcome. Second to last in our list is the summon command. I'm going to skip this one for now because uh, it's a little bit destructive. Um, this is the summon command. So, as you can see right here, we have these repeating command blocks, and uh, I have summon Minecraft cow tilde tilde one tilde. So, this is essentially saying summon cows one block above the command block. So, I'm going to hit done, and if I just hit this lever, as you can see, it is going to make a lot of cows, and I can't reach the lever! That's not good... Okay, now my command block is back, so I'm just going to put a lever on this, and if we look inside it, it says summon TNT. So this one is going to be quite destructive. Let's hit it. And, uh, yeah, you can just see TNT. Fortunately for us, though, if I can find the lever. Break it? Yeah, there we go. Fortunately for us, though, that isn't actually going to do anything, because, uh, the TNT is being summoned so quickly that nothing actually happens. So, um... I think that there's a different thing that you can do if you t type in summon new primed TNT. Um, but, uh, yeah. The final thing for this one is, uh, th this one is just really kind of funny in general. Uh, if I flick this lever. Yep. It's quite loud. But, uh, yeah. That's, that's all it is. And, uh, as you can see, I'm getting quite a few wings. Oh, okay, it just spiked up quite a bit. Finally, our last, the forever kill. So, be careful with this guy, one, guys. Don't do it to yourself or else you won't be able to stop it and then your world is pretty much gone unless you can somehow figure out how to turn command blocks off. As you can see, I have this thing that says kill me, Dozy. Now, I don't really need this world again, so I'm just going to flick this lever and this is just going to infinitely kill me. But if you want to joke around with your friends, again, joke around, turn it off eventually, then just type in kill their name. I hit this lever. As you can see, it will it will, it will, it'll kill me forever, and I I literally I I literally can't do it. Right, wait, let, let's see if we can get out of this. No, no, I can't even hit the slash button. What happens if we do title screen, and then try to get back in? Let's see what happens. It just kills us immediately. We literally cannot get out of this. All right, well, guys, my world's gone. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If this helped you in any way on your Minecraft maps or anything like that, um, let me know down in the comments. Let me know which command was your favorite down in the comments. And let me know if you guys are enjoying me coming back. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later.